Hi there, I'm Coach Ryan Husted. Behind me is my student, Jimmy Acey. When he came to Golf Tech, his goal was simple, to make his high school varsity golf team. Let's go ahead and compare Jimmy's before swing to his current swing, so I can show you some of the things we're improving upon to ensure that he reaches that goal. We will use some of Jimmy's swing measurements and some reference lines to illustrate the differences. One thing Jimmy did well in his backswing was turn, but like a lot of juniors, he did it too much. Over-rotating also allowed his club and arms to get severely out of position. At the top of his swing, notice how high his right elbow is and how the club is pointing well to the right of the target line. This position placed his hands well above the upper plane line, and as he started down, his hands stayed well above this line. In his current swing, notice how we have reduced his hip turn closer to the tour average of 44 degrees and dramatically changed his right arm and club position. These changes have allowed him to swing inside out more easily and have increased his distance. Jimmy is now drawing the ball and well on his way to making the high school varsity golf team. So Jimmy and I have been working with an extended club and it's helping him control not only the length of his backswing, but also ensuring that he's in the proper positions at the top. As he takes the club back, there's a few key checkpoints we look at to ensure that he is getting into those correct positions. First, we look at the extended part of the club. We want it pointing at the target line, which is indicating that we haven't got across the line at the top with the club. Secondly, we look at Jimmy's right elbow. We want to make sure that it's slightly flexed, moved away from his body, and lower than his left elbow. Good job, Jimmy. For help with your swing, find a Golf Tech coach near you by visiting golftech.com. Swing better. Play better. Golf Tech.